So today I'm taking my Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This is such a beautiful palette. And I'm picking up the shade Beach on this fluffy brush here. And I'm just gonna apply that in my crease. You wanna make sure that your eyeshadow is blended evenly on both sides. So what you do to one side, you do to the other. Um, also, I like to start out with minimal product because it's easier to uh, build up than to try and blend out product. So go ahead and just apply that in your crease and make sure everything looks even. The next shade I'm gonna be picking up is this shade right here called Suntan. And I'm picking up this Morphe small little uh, tapered brush and still applying that in the crease. Next shade I'm dipping into is Sundown. And I'm picking up just this fluffy shader brush and I'm gonna go directly onto the lid with this color. Moving on to skin, I am picking up the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Under Eye Cream and just applying that under my eyes. This gives so much hydration to the skin. I'm absolutely loving this product. Next, I'm going in with the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and just gonna apply a thin layer all over my face. For foundation today, I am picking up the Tarte Face Tape Foundation and I'm picking up this IT Cosmetics uh, Buffer Foundation Brush and I'm just gonna go all over my skin with this. I also like to go in with this smaller angled brush just to really get in that brow area. It's a very detailed area um, and I don't wanna mess up my eyebrows. So going in with a smaller brush really helps to control um, where the product is being placed. So I absolutely love this brush for it. Um, I'm not too sure the name it rubbed off, but it's just an angled fluffy brush and I absolutely love it. To warm up the skin, I'm going in with the Laura Geller Multitasking Eye Lip and Cheek Trio. I'm taking the middle shade, which is the bronzer, and I'm gonna pick up um, that product on this e.l.f. angled brush and just apply it to my cheekbones, my forehead. I like to do around my jawline and a little bit on my nose. I absolutely love this product because it's super easy to work with. It blends like a dream, and it just gives your skin the most beautiful, but like really natural glow. It's such an awesome product and I definitely recommend it to everybody. Now going into concealer, these are two of my favorites. It's the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and the Il Maquillage concealer and these just work beautifully together. I like to apply some on my forehead and underneath my eye just to really brighten up the face. And once I'm all done applying these cream products, I like to go over it with a damp sponge just all over my face. And then I also like to just spray a layer of setting spray all over just to really melt all those products in together. So while my cream products on my face are all kind of melting together and settling and doing their thing, I'm going to go underneath my eyes with the same shadows we applied in our crease. Now that our creams are all nice and set, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte on this Real Techniques brush. Um, this is just a translucent powder and I'm pressing that into my face all over. I like to let that powder kind of sink in and I like to go back to my eyes. So I'm gonna pick up the Il Maquillage Icon Mascara in the color brown and just really, really get in there in my lashes. Um, I'm not sh I wasn't sure if I was gonna just leave it with mascara or if I was gonna put on lashes. I ended up putting on lashes. So this doesn't really matter, but if you really, really wanna get your eyelashes to look amazing with mascara, just kind of tilt your head back, look down, and then just blink. And yeah, your eye does it for you, it does all the work for you.
For blush today, I am picking up my favorite, which is of course the Tarte Captivating Blush, and I'm picking up this BH Cosmetics blush brush and just applying that to my cheeks. For contour today, I'm going to be picking up the Scott Barnes Contour Palette, and I'm picking up these shades Carve and Diced, and I'm just going to be picking them up on this angled brush. Um, this is a brush set from Do Care. I got it off of Amazon. They're great brushes. Totally recommend them to everybody. And I like to start applying this contour in my hairline and kind of blending it forward. I like to go over my nose, apply it on my forehead, everywhere we put that uh, cream product down. Moving on to lips, I am picking up the Melt Cosmetics um, Edible Lip Liner and just applying that to my lips. This is a darker color. I'm going to pick up a Q-tip and just blend out that line so it's not so harsh. For lipstick today, I am picking up the MAC Cosmetics Spirit Lipstick and just applying that all over my lips. And then I also um, go back and forth with the lip liner just to add some depth and dimension to it. I guess I forgot to record this part, but I did end up putting some Omrizi highlighter on my brow bone. And I did also apply some Kiss Lashes, just really natural. Um, they're pretty much like the Wispies from Ardell. And that is it for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I would love for you to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see down below. I did upload this hair tutorial, so also go check that out. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and wonderful rest of your week. Um, stay positive, and I love you. Bye.